It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Been out to my local Tesco's. They just launched a brand new vegan range of foods under the banner, under the name Plant Chef. So we have some breaded goujons made with soya and we have some southern fried fillets. That's what we have for the moment. I went out to my local, the big Tesco, the Tesco Extra, out in Cardiff and went to the freezer aisle first, thinking it might be in the freezer aisle. Then I ended up in the, in the meat aisle. Spoke to a lovely lady there. She said, yeah, th we got bits of it out. The deliveries come late. So I picked up the goujons and the fillets and they said, it looks like the other stuff haven't come in. So trying to get the rest of this stuff for you guys to see, I went back to my local Tesco on the way home, went in there and it was just a bit smaller. The smaller Tescos don't seem to stock the, the, the Tesco Extra kind of range of things. It, it, it's just a bigger store Tesco Extra. So I've got as much as I possibly can from this new Plant Chef range. Let's get it in the grill, cook it up, see what it tastes like. Here's a look at the food then. Here are the goujons. And the sudden fried fillet, I put in a bread roll. With some vegan butter, called Vitalite. So, they're 100% or I could say mostly, I would say, soya. There's a look at them ripped open. Nice and hot. Ooh. Really crispy and crunchy. Almost like I've deep fried them, but not deep fried them at all. They've been in the grill. Consistency, soya is really good at mimicking chicken. That's exactly what it's doing. There's a little bit of spice in there. They're tasty. Really tasty. If you like that crunch, that crispy crunch, mmm, you're gonna like this. Actually, look at it. Let me get it to focus. Look at that, it looks like chicken. It looks like thigh meat or leg meat. Slightly brown in the color. Mmm. I like them. They were two pounds. But I'm going to be honest, at this stage, come back a little bit with my tail between my legs. You guys are probably going to want to see the burgers and the sausages, aren't you? Just to see if they've managed to replicate that kind of beef flavour, sausage, pork kind of flavour in the sausage. They make Cumberland sausages and the, the replicated kind of patties I suppose, you can't call them beef patties, but patties. But we did what we could, we got what we could. Whilst the food was cooking, or grilling, I opened the beer. This is like a blueberry, raspberry, sour type beer called the Berlin of Ice. It's from Sweden. It's lovely and tart, full of fruity flavours. Goes really well with the breaded goujon. I can't call it a chicken goujon, it's a breaded goujon. I also want to mention at this stage as well, um, this is not a, a, a vegan channel, 100% um, vegan channel. 
I like to eat vegan food. I like to try these different vegan foods because I actually like them. I had the Ginster's pasty the other day, the vegan pasty. That was delicious. I thought it was a better tasting pasty than the meat version of the, the pasty. Um, so we do, we do meat, we do vegan stuff, we do beer, we do all sorts on this channel this day and age. Here's the, should we taste the, just the, I've got to be careful, the southern fried fillet before we tuck into the bread. Mmm. That's, that's, for me, that's better. I like a bit of spice. I like that kind of southern fried kick about it. Um, it's peppery, slight, slight spice in there. That's delicious. Mmm. Yeah, really good. Again. It's got that kind of thigh meat, leg meat consistency to it. The colour, it looks like chicken, it looks like thigh meat. I'm not sure if they purposely went for that look. Well, that's just the way soya looks once it's been cooked. How does it compare to the K, I had the KFC um, impossible imposter chicken thing the other month. Um, that was nice. And I also, while I was in Amsterdam airport, the McDonald's there had a vegetarian, it was called a veggie McChicken. And I had that about a month ago. And this is very similar to that. But they had mayo and all sorts of lovely lettuce and stuff in their burger which I don't have I've seen this come up on my news feed this morning i seen it was brand new I thought I'm gonna get out there pick these up again really wanted the burgers really wanted the sausages quite disappointed um, they didn't have them on launch day there's a little bit of a, a strange, like a lemon, spicy lemon, peppery kick to this burger. That's it. I suppose the question I've got to ask myself. is I know vegan stuff is the like 2019 this is the we've seen Greg sausage vegan sausage rolls vegan rolls they call them um Subway's doing different vegan stuff KFC doing vegan stuff uh, McDonald's did vegan nuggets in Norway I believe so everybody's on this vegan bandwagon at the moment um would I buy these breaded goujons over chicken goujons? I suppose if they... Yeah, I, I, yeah, I would. I, I think it just needs... I, I wanted to just get them up, get these reviewed on YouTube. Um, if I had a bit of lettuce, bit of vegan mayo, um, bit, of, bit of sauce, bit of spice, bit of chilli stuff, these would be absolutely terrific. Bit of chilli jam, maybe. These would be wonderful. It's just that I'm eating it plain Jane, just to just to not. I want to give you an example of what it tastes like. I don't want to be telling you all about the the condiments I've put into this food because it's not about the condiments. It's about what Tesco have produced. Pardon me. It's good. It's good. And as always. As it's a, a, a Tesco or a supermarket branded product, it's going to be cheaper than buying, say, your Quorns or your Linda McCartney's or stuff like that. So yeah, it, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. It depends, I suppose, if I, for me personally. 
I, I, I think if you, whatever's on offer. Does that make sense? When you go into the supermarket, we all look at offers. If these were on the end of the aisle, these, these plant chef things on offer, um, then I'd pick it up and I'd mayo it up and chili jam it up and spice it up and it'd be tasty, really tasty. As it is, it's good. It's good. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.